so far. It's all kind of new to me, but I am enjoying it so far. So there. Now I'm going to unpack everything out of it and do a hand cast and then repack it. <laughs> which I've only done a couple of times so far, so. All right, so let's, uh, first it's got an animal right here to carry it, which I didn't really notice right away, but now I know it's there, I'll be using it, um, rather than just trying to grasp it wherever. And where you have to start is on the top. There's a couple of zips, they got nice loops on it there. I don't know if you can see that because I've lost my natural light. But uh, they're really easy to handle and it makes it easy to find the zips too. Okay, so I've done that. Here's my wing. Concertine it up. Get rid of that. Get rid of my helmet. And your other stuff will be in here too, whatever else you got. Now, it weighs like nothing. <laughs> so, what you do is you put this all out of here. And just pull it up and get it out. Like that. And what harness. I like to clip these together. I don't know if that's good to do or not. Maybe not over a long period of time if you're hiking a lot because these would rub together. I suppose you could clip this into one of the straps over here. I just like to keep them in so they're not flopping out all over the place like this. You know? And that just gets, as you're trying to pull it up, you find after you got it all nice and packed up, there's this big piece sticking out. So then it ends up sticking out of the, well, the outside of the pack set. So it's got nice buckles. These, uh, I can't remember what they're called, but uh, these are like on my other harness, so I'm pretty comfortable with them already. Um, they only go in one way. You can't get them to go in the other way, they only go that way. And also, they're green and red, which is cool because that's green colors for Starbird and Sport. So that's good. And I'm a ancient mariner, so I, green and red is always synonymous. Aircraft use those colors too, I believe. <laughs> anyway, so now the speed bar, I kind of haphazardly last minute hook these together, but um, generally you just want to hook them together here, not all tangled through here and everywhere else. So there that out. Now, anyways, so back to the, back to the harnessing part. Now, I'm not going to get into removing all this, this, you know, stuff and everything like that. We don't really need to cover that here. And also, I don't really know all about it yet. So, like I said, I just got this. But I do know you're supposed to zip this up to get rid of the back sack outside elements or Oh, is that the outside? Yeah, that's the outside of the pack sack. And there's two zips for that, I think. Yeah, there's the other one. And I'm just zipping it all up here. And there it's all zipped. Now, this is kind of leave this loose big floppy thing around in here, but like, I'm not really sure about that yet, but, uh, what to do with it. I guess it just, you know, just sit it all in here like this. Um, and then, this is your interior of your pack sack now. There's, like, little hiking pole, leathery kind of hiking pole tip pieces. I don't know if you can see that. 
those are um, like really going to be useful for putting the hiking poles in there so as they're not poking holes through your nice brand new harness and uh, or through you. <laughs> you don't want them roaming around freely. It's a good idea. I, I like the idea. I think it's a really good idea. Now what I do, what I did here is I rolled the outside all up and stuck it down in here so it was out of the way. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but there is the back of your harness. And you just sit that up. I'm sure after I've done this a few times, it will not take much time at all. Now, uh, important is that you leave it sitting like this on its side so as it has a chance for these rods to inflate and to, you know, to make the uh, airbags inflate. And, uh, I'm not going to fly it right now, so it's not super important, but it's good, good, good to leave it for a few minutes, especially if it's been packed up for a long time. I think it would, uh, like I, I noticed when I got it, it was, it took quite a bit longer to come out. Now it's not so bad. It's coming out pretty quickly. So yeah, it's almost all the way out already. Anyway, the speed bar comes attached uh, with two Velcro tabs here. That's, I don't know, that's probably pretty standard, but I kicked it off. So it, you can kick it off, but if you're going to be flying, you might as well just poke those off because if it's hooked up properly, this isn't going to get in the way. It retracts with long bungees anyways, so it's just going to sit there. Uh, I think it's probably more for packing, maybe. So, there, so you got your red and your green, make sure those are aligned before you put them on. And then, you just put it on. And that's pretty cool from green to green, red to red. Chicken strap. Boob enhancer, like I like to call it. <laughs> okay, with my, my hang test is really high because I like to hang in here and then do the simulator thing on the wall over here so it's more realistic. So it's quite high. I could attach pieces and make it lower, but hey, seek discomfort, as they say. Okay, so there. Now, I'd pretend I was hooking my speed bark and all that stuff too, but they're just hanging, so. There's one. Now, these, these things are really, these carabiners are different. They're probably not different to some people, but to me they are. Because uh, when you unlock them, instead of just opening up inside of here, they open up. At an angle so they miss if anything is here if they miss it it, it doesn't hit it so because I was looking at it thinking oh that's gonna hit against here it's gonna be really hard to open it but it it goes at an angle out this way so um, yeah it's really cool I like it I was thinking they were a bit small but uh, now it has that I'm, I'm gonna keep them on there so anyway so uh, yeah we're all ready to do our hanging Okay, there's the watch and into the seat, just like that. It's super quick, super easy, it fits me snugly. <sighs> now, um, weight shift, uh, I'm just going to take these glasses off for a minute. Weight shift is, um, for compared to my other harness, which is a Gingini medium, is absolutely phenomenal. So. Uh, <laughs> you know, um, just total weight shift, right? You know, don't have to do much. Um, and uh, it's snug, like it doesn't, uh, you know, it's not going all over the place. You know, I'm not sliding around in it and everything. It's snug. 
getting out of it is easy. See? That's just great. Anyway, um, uh, the speed bar, it's on the Velcro things, like I said. You can be bad dot before flying because it's on bungees. And it's got the regular little thing for, you know, if you want to pull it out that far. Um, the bar itself is made out of composite um, carbon fiber. So, which is really light. <laughs> it's lighter than aluminum. The, the same, a little bit of weight there, and also I don't think it'll ever break. But uh, what's neat about the speed bar on this one is the Brummels on my other harness. If if the speed one of the, if the Velcro, the single Velcro thing I have on here falls out, it uh, it drops down, and this gets sucked down into here somewhere. Um, with these, uh, there's a a little loop that the Brummel cannot fit through, and it's on kind of a, a like a flat bungee, and so see it won't come out, so you don't have to worry about that. I mean, I've flown you know without these on, and also um, uh, a wing that I have a wing that doesn't have a speed bar on it, um, so. And I ended up with these hanging down, one stuck in here in the speed bar, or hanging by one string, you know, <laughs> just going all over the place. So this is really nice, uh, nice feature. And also, it the attachment point moves when you're on full bar, so you know it's 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 always there. It's always right where it's supposed to be. So when you let it go, it just sucks right back up into there. So. Uh, I had to do some adjustments in that because the shoulder straps were, I think they were too short or something or too long, I'm not sure, I can't remember, but I did adjust them. It's really easy to adjust. This is, again, much easier for adjustment. Also this, like your carabiner, carabiner, and also just for comfort, um, is really easy to adjust. There's a couple of adjustments down here. I, don't, I had to actually get out of the harness on the, the, mid, the mid strap. Um, the one that's in the center uh, for the seat depth, I guess. Yeah, the seat depth I wanted to, it was a little out of symmetry, so I had to adjust the one side up. And as far as I can see, it's just nothing wrong with it at all. Like, it's perfect. So, um, it's comfortable. I sat in this for about an hour today, and it was like, I wish I had a TV right in front of me going at the time, because I could have just sat here, uh, you know, and watched it. Um, I like mine relatively up, you know, I, I don't like leaning back like this because it, it hurts my neck, so, um, and also it just seems to me to be a bit of a not good position to be in, um, but teach their own. And what else, what else, what else, what else? Uh, there's no flight deck, so I'm going to have to make something up. I'm going to make something up that straps onto here and goes across, so because I'm used to that with the pod harness, I'm really used to having a flight deck. Uh, anything else? Yeah, so just make all your adjustments in that. Oh, um, the straps, uh, the shoulder straps, like, they shouldn't be so loose when you're sitting that when you weight shift, that this comes flying off like that. You get them, don't get them tight, but I think I heard someone say to put your hand underneath there, and it should be snug with your hand underneath there. I'm not sure if that's true or not. But, uh, um, yeah, when you when you weight shift, you don't want them flipping off. You, you want it to stay on. <laughs> you know, just, just in case then you have a collapse right after. And you don't want this down here in your arm to be pinned or whatever. I don't know. But it just, it's probably not a good idea. So, uh, yeah. it's I'm glad I got this. Um, I'm going to do a drop text next just to show you the airbags. And, uh, did I mention it's light as a feather? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do a drop test right, right here, I guess. Okay, here we go. I'm just like jumping on a bed, basically. And, you know, you could fly up in the air and, and then crash again. And it's still, there's, it's still 50% already, you know. 
If I'd have done that without this, because I'm old, I probably would have broken myself somewhere. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, that's that's it all as a harness, and uh, I've got freedom of movement. Um, I don't have a big thing hanging, hitting against the back of my legs, or I just it just feels generally really good, and it's light too. Of course, it depends on how much junk I put in the back too. So. Anyways, okay, so I'm going to unclip all this stuff and attempt for my third time <laughs> to do a more expedient packing. Okay, first, I'll make sure I'm in the field of view here. Uh, I like to get everything in here. And I like to hook my pair of binders together. But maybe I'll look around the strap with that. More. Maybe that's a better way. Anyways. Um, and then get rid of these by hooking them up. Just so as they're not flopping everywhere. And even the chicken strap. Snap everything together. And also maybe it might serve as a reminder when you're getting into it after not being in it for a long time. Now here's where I muffed up last time. The speed bar. Clip these together. And stick them in here. Now, in order to pack this up, um, you want to unzip this back. Part again. So you can gain access to this. And now they say in the direction, in the instructions, to pull this up as much as possible. Um, what I do first is I like to wrap it, wrap the bottom part, you know, the, the, the wire part of the speed bar around. It just fits right on the top of the shoulders really nicely. And uh, that holds it together, you know, so while I'm moving it around and stuff, it, it, it can't go anywhere. Anyway, so now yeah, you have to find those zips and undo this part again. Now, it's, it's not good to go like that because they're on the inside, so once you get it started, just they're really smooth, so you just have to just and pull it and it all comes apart. Ah. Now, here's what I mentioned before, I think I mentioned it. Um, I like to roll this up because it's better just punching it all up. If you roll it up, it stays neat and it doesn't get all wrinkly. But also, there's a place right in here where it kind of fits really nicely. Now, I, I, that might be intentional, I don't know, but there it is. It's all fitting real good now. Okay, so. Now what you want to do is you want to get this part wrapped around the bottom. This is the part I find the hardest because uh, it's uh, kind of all over the place for a bit there. And then uh, grab your speed bar and flip it over. Now the speed bar works best when it's attached. Oops, I guess I didn't attach it properly. Went out from when I was hanging. There, okay. Now, you just make sure that all of this is as far forward as it can possibly be. I find it useful also to tuck in the shoulder straps from the from the harness part, like the actual. I don't know if I'm in the view here or not. Um, from the actual harness section part. Yeah. And now you pull it over. And you just zip it all up. Like that. I like these zips. They got those big finger loop things on it, and it makes it a lot easier. I'll tell you. I'm going to have to take these labels off, I guess. I am going to keep this harness. 
Uh, I kept the labels on just in case it wasn't the right size or something. Um, and there, now it's all more or less together. But, still got this monster to put in here. So, I find, like, finding the harder end, dealing with it is best. That's the harder end. <laughs> um, which is naturally upside down because the handle's on this side, but whatever. Uh, now, you push it in here. And the trick is, just hang on to these zips while you're put, pushing it in. So, like, use the old knee to start it. Like that. Now, once you get it about here, or I get it about here, I check down the speed bar where the back of the seat is, or the front of the edge of the seat is, and pull it up, make sure it's, uh, that the airbag isn't all crinkling up from there as I shove this monster in. And then I'm going to keep shoving. I'm going to it down there, check it out. Pull this up. I think I can safely. No, I guess I should pull on that. That shall see. I think we keep pulling on it until it's uh, in place. Okay. So there, and then you just do your lift up more or whatever. That depends on how much other stuff you got to fit in there. There's still a lot of room. Like, it's not really that tight. It's just my concertina bag is fairly long, I guess. It was all kind of hit and miss, haphazard guesswork, so I think I did pretty good. <laughs> okay, so you get it zipped up anyways. Um, and then you put your helmet, put all your valuable stuff or whatever inside here. There's also a pocket to put valuables in somewhere on here, and also there's this pocket here. On here, which is, uh, can, you know, can be used for putting money or whatever in. So there, and then you stick your helmet in, and you pull this up, like that, and you pull this up, like that. And so before you do this, um, or maybe as a habit, before you unpack even, which I didn't do, but um, make sure these straps are all loose. See, that one's a bit tight. That probably made it harder for me. If that had been loose, it probably would have been a little easier. But I guess anybody that's packed a pack before probably knows that. So that one was a little tight. Not bad, but, um, there's pouches down here with that. Uh, <laughs> and then, and then after, then you can go around tightening everything up, right, you know. I like the way the straps are located too. They're they're in really good places. So there now everything's tight and ready to go. <laughs> and then you can put it on. Yeah, the the straps I was talking about when I had the harness. I think those are actually probably tight right now. Yeah, tighter than anything. I'll loosen those off. There. And there we go. And that's it. We're all set to go hiking. And it's very comfortable. Harness, it's surprisingly comfortable. Uh, it's more comfortable than anything I've ever had before. And it's a hike and fly harness. It's not a pack sack. And then pull these in like that there. There. I'll give you a side view. And a back view. And another side view. And front view. There. That's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool setup. And I like it. I like the whole thing. It's uh, solid, you know. I mean, it's not really a running harness, but I did run in it today. I ran up, a, or walked up a mountain, not ran, and I ran down the mountain. 
so uh, I found it uh, even comfortable that way. I, had, I think I had to tighten stuff up though. I had to tighten the shoulder straps up, loose knees off a bit, and something else. I, I don't know, maybe I, yeah, I might have pulled down on the shoulder strap. But anyway, I got a little more firm. It's, you know, it's a little bouncy, but um, for walking, yeah, it's good. So that's my personal opinion and first impressions of the Nova Itis harness. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye!